We all know the Wicked Witch is dead, but just how did she die and who did it? Well, as Rick Wells shows us, those are questions that will be answered in a new photo exhibit that opens in Tulsa tomorrow. You know which witch, right? Striped stockings, red shoes. Altogether, I've killed her off almost 40 times. Evan Taylor is a photographer, and for the past couple of years, he's been photographing the death of a witch. Which old witch? Yeah, that one. She's been under steamrollers, porta potties, bathrooms, trunks of cars, floral shops. This seven year old football team got her too. It all started out in western Oklahoma. He and his wife saw an old house that looked like it had fallen out of the sky. Well, she had what they call a cool if moment. It'd be cool if those witches' legs were underneath that house. Back in Tulsa, a mannequin store for some legs, stockings from somewhere else, red shoes at a costume shop, and the witch became part of the family. SUV is me and my wife, our two-year-old in the back, and in the very back is the stroller, baby stuff, sure. pair of legs, and some lights. Now, all those photos have become a full-blown exhibit. There are buttons and mini photos and regular size ones, even t-shirts. And he's got favorites. The porta potty one is just comical. You just have to laugh at it with the toilet paper blowing in the wind. What a way to go or die. He's also thinking of a coffee table book someday featuring all his death of a witch photos. And he's looking for new ideas. Give me a cool if idea. Wouldn't it be cool if... Uh... She's been through a lot. Yes. She has. Rick Wells, News on 6. That's great. <laughs> well, Death of a Witch, the photo exhibit, opens tomorrow evening at Dwelling Spaces, which is in downtown Tulsa. There's an opening night party from 6 to 9. They want you to wear a costume.